Hi, this is Tim from FitAtMidlife.com and today we have the Echo Buds from Amazon. We're going to compare these to the AirPods Pro from Apple and we're going to tell you which is the best noise canceling, sweat resistant earbud for your workout. So stick around. Okay, so let's give the Echo Buds a try for fit and feel. So they're here in the magnetic charging case. They're they will not fall out. The earbuds are labeled right and left. Very easy to insert. Simply put them in your ear, sort of rotate until you can feel the tight seal of the passive noise canceling. And so you can see this is a very streamlined um, fit and feel. These fit very securely for me. I'm not even using the optional wing tips that can help secure these even further, but it's a nice fit just because of the size and the form factor and because of the uh, ear tip part that goes in the ear canal. As far as gestures, these support double tap and that will announce in the earbud what you've done. Uh, in this case, that turns on and off the active noise reduction. And they also support press and hold, which by default will invoke the digital assistant, um, either Alexa or Siri via the Alexa app on your phone. These are customizable left or right. You can play, pause, mute mics, uh, turn the active noise cancellation on and off, but the only two gestures, again, are double tap and press and hold. That is all that it supports. Okay, so now let's try the AirPods Pro fit and feel. So uh, magnetic charging case, they're very secure. Take them out, very simple to insert. Canceling ear tip will fit into your ear canal. And so these have the accelerometers as do the Echo Buds so they knows when they're in your ear and when they're to activate them. Um, these are very comfortable earbud. Uh, they are more comfortable than the Echo Buds. The, I don't know if it's the material in the ear tip or the venting feature that they have that reduces the pressure behind the ear tip, but these are definitely more comfortable for long-term wear, um, especially if you're on uh, long phone calls, conference calls, things like that. They do not fit as securely, in my opinion, as, as compared to the Echo Bud. Um, it's sort of a different design. You do have the ear tip that's in your ear canal. There's nothing like the wing tips that you can put on the Echo Bud to make them more secure. And, and to me, and I don't know if it's it's the ear tip just doesn't fit my ear canal as perfect as the Echo Bud does, but it just it is not as secure a fit and feel, but it is more comfortable and it's easier to wear for, for long term. Okay, so let's talk about gestures. Um, the AirPods Pro have a force sensor embedded in the stems, both right and left, and you can click, you can double click, you can triple click, and you can click and hold. And so that gives you the ability to play or pause, to skip a track forward or backward, and to turn on and off the noise canceling by the, the press and hold. And so these do support more gestures than the Echo Buds do. The Echo Buds, again, only support double tap and press and hold. So these are a little more versatile. So let's talk about sound quality and how that's achieved with these earbuds. In both designs, there's a soft silicone ear tip. This goes into your ear canal and forms a tight seal. This helps block unwanted sounds from entering. And this is basically passive noise cancellation. So it's a physical barrier to prevent external sound from getting into your ear. Uh, it also helps the little speaker or driver work in the earbud much more effectively. So these have very good music quality, uh, very good bass, especially when compared to something like the original AirPod, which did not use an ear tip design. So passive noise cancellation helps a lot with the sound quality from these earbuds. The flip side to that though, is you do have the sensation that something is in your ear canal. So you can, of course, feel this because it's blocking with a tight seal the, the, um, your ear canal from outside sound. The AirPods Pro has an edge in comfort, in my opinion. It uh, is much more comfortable 
to wear for extended time. The Echo Bud less so. However, I feel, at least in my case, that the ear tip works better as far as blocking sound on the Echo Bud for me. And it could be the size is just not quite right for my eardrum or my ear canal on the AirPods Pro. So I'm not sure about that. There are three different sizes of ear tips provided with both. I have tried all three, and these are the sizes that give me the best sound. So the passive noise cancellation, quite effective, but you should know what it is and decide whether you're comfortable with that sort of fit and feel. And not only do these have passive noise cancellation, but both also have active noise cancellation. So this is a feature that is um, mostly found in over-the-ear style headphones. It's relatively new to have active noise cancellation in an earbud form factor. And what that is, is there's microphones in the earbud. They pick up the sound coming from the outside and they can actually um, project a canceling sound through your ear so that you don't hear the noise and it works well. Uh, it works best for kind of a constant hum, um, things like the refrigerator running, if you're in a car, the road noise, the tire noise and things like that. Very good at canceling those sort of sounds and this is all noise canceling headphones operate in this way. Not actually tested these yet on an airline flight. I hope to do that soon. I can tell you though in the car, the uh, active noise cancellation in both works quite well. Which one works better? I gotta say, to me, it's a draw. Very good in the AirPods Pro, but also very good in the Echo Bud. This uses Bose Active Noise Reduction. Um, Bose makes excellent over-the-ear noise-canceling headphones I have used for years, but these seem to work just as well, too. So as far as active noise cancellation, it's a draw for both. Okay, so we have passive noise cancellation thanks to the ear tips, but this is a double-edged sword because with your ear canal blocked, you cannot hear ambient sounds as well, you're not as aware of your surroundings, you can kind of hear your own voice rattling around inside your head when you're talking on a phone call or a conference call, and this can be quite fatiguing, especially after a long duration. Um, however, both of these have a fix for that. The Echo Buds have what they call pass-through mode, which utilizes the external facing microphones on the earbud to actually allow other sounds in. They're amplified through the speaker. And likewise, the AirPods Pro has transparency mode, which does exactly the same thing. And largely, this works as advertised. So these, these are much like the shooting electronic earmuffs where they block loud sounds, but they let ambient conversation through. Same concept as applied to the earbuds. So this is very good. Uh, you can better maintain situational awareness, whether you're jogging, whether you're in a crowded office, whether you're in the classroom, the pass-through and transparency modes work quite well. There is a slightly artificial sound to the pass-through, of course, because it's, you know, the passive noise cancellation is blocking the unwanted external sounds, but then you're letting it through the speaker system with, with, the, uh, with the transparency and pass-through modes enabled. The Echo Bud sounds more artificial than the AirPods Pro. So this has a more natural feeling transparency mode that works better, in my opinion. Okay, so let's talk about the actual call and music quality from these two earbuds. So we talked about the passive noise cancellation, we talked about the active noise cancellation, we talked about pass-through and transparency mode. Which one of these actually sounds better? It's hard to tell. So with the right seal of the passive noise cancellation, both of these sound pretty darn good for music and calls. They both have significantly more bass than the original AirPods. Again, because of the passive noise cancellation, it lets the driver or the speaker better operate. Um, I believe the AirPods Pro is significantly more expensive. I believe it has a higher quality driver as compared to the Echo Bud. But for me, I can't tell the difference, to be honest. I would hesitate to tell you one sounds better over the other. They both sound significantly better than earbuds that do not use passive noise cancellation 
I can tell you that much. They both sound pretty good. Great for working out, in my opinion. You can hear the music um, quite well. You can hear the bass. And you also have the pass-through of the transparency mode so that you can still hear the ambient gym noises if you're working out with other people or conversations are going on or whatever. As far as active noise cancellation, it's also sort of a draw. So both very good at negating those ongoing uh, sounds like car noise, tire noise, wind noise, um, and other and other things. Less so at blocking voices and TVs and things like that. But that's all active noise cancellation. That none of it blocks all that too effectively. And so either is a very good option for kind of getting in the zone isolating yourself even in a noisy environment you can hear your music better you don't have to turn the music up so loud you're not damaging your eardrums i highly recommend active noise canceling earbuds for a variety of things and both of these work pretty good okay let's compare the charging cases as you can see the echo bud case is huge it is uh, very big. It does not fit well in your pocket, unlike that of the AirPods Pro, which is very close in size to the uh, original AirPods case, which I'm holding here in my left hand. To the right, this is the AirPod Pro. Uh, you can see it is slightly larger, but it's just about the same size. Um, it opens differently, but it's about the same size, same weight. Fits pretty easily in your pocket, although I always kind of felt like these, this is almost too much to have in your pocket anyways. But the Echo Bud case is very large, so it's a little less convenient to carry it around with you. And of course, these are the charging cases, the important function being this is how you charge the earbuds when they're not in use, but also how you protect them when they're in your pocket or your luggage or wherever. And I just question whether this is really practical to carry around with you or not. Um, beyond that, the Echo has a micro USB connector. The AirPod Pro has a lightning connector, as you would expect. Both have a pairing button on the back, and that is the cases. Okay, so are these water resistant? Both are IPX4 tested. Uh, IP rating is the ingress protection rating. The X means that they are not have or have not been tested against dust ingress. However, the four means that they are splash resistant from any angle. And so they both have the same rating. Um, IPX4 is just one of several levels of water resistant rating. These should be fine. They're sweat proof, light rain, stuff like that. These should not have a problem either. Um, you would not want to immerse these in water though. You would not want to drop these in water. That will certainly kill the earbuds according to the uh, water protection rating. The other factor here is that rating is for the earbud only. That does not include the charging cases. You absolutely would not want to get those wet under any circumstances. So again, both IPX4 water resistant rating. Okay, so which is the winner? Which is the better earbud for your workout? So I was pretty excited when I heard about the AirPods Pro with the active noise cancellation. I knew they would be a much better earbud as compared to the original AirPod design. I was also excited when I heard about the Echo Bud because it seemed like it had all the same features but at a much cheaper price point. And I have to tell you, I think both of these would work pretty well. So first of all, they're both IPX4 water resistant. They're gonna be sweat resistant, light rain, shouldn't have a problem with that. They both offer excellent musical quality compared to like say the original AirPod or another earbud that doesn't have passive noise cancellation. So you get good tunes, good music out of these, but they all also both have the transparency mode or the pass-through mode that lets you keep aware of your ambient surroundings, whether you're in a gym, you wanna to listen to your music while you work out, but you still have to be able to talk to people, or you're jogging and you wanna maintain situational awareness, either work. The AirPods are overall a more polished, more comfortable, easier to use for long wear, excellent sound quality, active, act, uh, excellent active noise cancellation, but they're very expensive at almost $250. The Echo Buds give you almost everything that the AirPods do, 
just maybe in a little rougher form, but they also fit very securely, especially when you add the optional wing tip onto the Echo Bud. So it will stay very secure while you're working out. And as I mentioned, I have had the AirPods fall out of my ears at least once, but they are more secure than the original AirPod. So I hope that's helpful. The recommendation I would give is if you're looking purely just for a workout earbud and you're on a budget, the Echo Buds all the way at about $130. If you're looking to use these for all sorts of things, including phone calls and conference calls and long-term wear, then I have to recommend the AirPods Pro. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please hit subscribe and you'll be notified as we post more reviews in the future. Thanks.